turn back to the crazy. Okay, so for those of you that um, were watching the other one or you're watching this one first, I don't know which one you're watching, but uh, two torrid hauls back to back <laughs> must be something special. Well, these are just long overdue because I've had so many orders out and then they all just seem to come in at once and so I needed to get them out. And then, you know, I want to share pictures with the group I'm in, but I don't want to share pictures until I've put, you know, my hauls out first with you guys because, you know, y'all come, don't tell anybody, but y'all come first. So, hmm. let's get started. All right. So, I know y'all heard me talking about in the last one about the lingerie from Torrid. Well, I before because that box was lost, um, that that lingerie came in, I had already ordered a bralette after that that was on either clearance or sale or whatever, just because so many people talk about the bralettes, and I wanted to try one out. So, I ordered this one, which was really cute. Um, again not for big boobs at all so this was more like not even having a bra on but having some material across your boobs and i guess i've gotten so used to not wearing kind of like bras that have any kind of pull or anything this thing really hurt my shoulder or maybe i'm just having a sensitive day or something but this was really hurting and i couldn't even at first i thought i was going to use this for the try on haul but this was hurting me too bad so i had to take it off and it may not be that it was that this is painful. I just might be, sometimes I get sensitive on my shoulders um, when stuff touches me and it was kind of painful. So I took it off. But yeah, no, I'm not into the bralettes. I guess if you have little cup sizes, then you can deal with a bralette. But I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, say no. Mm -mm, not for me. So this will just be for, you know, lounging around at home. Um, when I don't want to hang out all over the place. <laughs> time out. I'm going to time out. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night. All night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'm going to follow you. Calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? I separate ways, ain't gon' end well. No, but when we get back, it's like oh my, all bad all day. But the night I get that good, good till we act right. So tell me where we on the day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that wave. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you want to go insane, either way, baby, we could go on. All right. So, again, <laughs> starting from the bottom, working my way up. We have these pants here, which were also on clearance, but I thought they would be a nice thing once, 
you know, life opens back up and we can start going places again. These would be a cute little, I just really thought they were cute and then they were on clearance. So that's why I got them. I'm not really sure, can't remember how much I paid for them, but they were pretty cheap. Gosh, they must've been under $20. Um, but I just really like that little sparkly thing. And actually I thought I didn't look really good, but I thought that, you know, this silver sequence was all the way up. I didn't realize that it kind of like did an ombre from black down to the silver sequence, which I thought was kind of cute. The pants are cute. I like the, um, the, um, capri of them or high water or whatever you want to call that, <laughs> whatever you want to call that length. Um, these are a 20 and they are 73% polyester, 24% rayon, 3% spandex. Um, and then it has down here hundred percent polyester. Okay. Cause polyester is that blend, um, or whatever. Here I go again. Actually, I'm off my game y'all. It's been a while since, you know, I feel like I don't, I don't do enough hauls anymore. And so I'm losing my touch when it comes to material. So I got to go back to reading the tags. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah, I really like these. And what I did in the video, the bolero that I'm wearing and the top that I'm wearing with this, they are not torrid. I think the bolero, can't remember, just pulled it out of the closet. And the shirt that I have on with it is an old shirt that I got from Dress Barn one year when I was in the States. So can't even tell you how old that thing is because I've had it for a long time. Um, but that's, you know, that was real quick. I, I probably would wear it differently. I don't know. Um, and the, But the shoes that I did have on, those were from Torrid. Um, they actually had those shoes in silver and in gold. So they might still be there. If you like that, go check them out. By now, they're probably on clearance because I've had them for a while. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure that that's the style that I would go with. Or how I would wear it but I mean it didn't it wasn't bad so we'll see I like the pants I'm glad I got them on clear okay then these are leggings and y'all know how I feel about trying on leggings in my haul however because these were Barbie leggings I just wanted to really quick show you <laughs> the Barbie on oops the Barbie on the leg gosh and they're just picking up linton everywhere the Barbie on the leg so yes I can't wait to wear these outside in public <laughs> when it warms up of course because right now when I wear leggings I normally have on a pair of boots but these I would want to wear tennis shoes with because I don't want my boots to have to cover up the Barbie and I got these pair of um let me see what they would call these oh they are leopard they're like a gray they're leopard gray and black leopard paint jogger pants which I don't have a pair of joggers well I do now <laughs> but I thought these were pretty cute and I was really leery about how they would look on me but they are okay they're you know they're elastic band and they have they're pretty heavy you know good you could even wear these to work kind of type pants you know if you put a nice blouse on a nice pair of shoes you could really still get away with wearing these to work and then they have two full pockets that zip up on them. Now the back, I believe, is they are closed. They're not. They're just make-believe pockets, fake pockets. But these are pretty comfortable, and I like them. And yeah, these are kind of cute. I can't wait to get another pair, or even wear these. <laughs> I'm already thinking about my next pair, and I haven't even worn these. Okay, so, well, let me tell you what kind of material this is, just so you can get an idea. So, these are 80% rayon, 15% nylon, and 5% spandex. They're kind of like a cross between legging um, with the thick band on them with, I don't know, like a thin ponte pants, ponte pants feel. They're just... I don't know, good quality, nice, not too thick, not too thin pants. Then we have yet another sweatshirt. And the reason that I got this sweatshirt is because sometimes things talk to you. And this sweatshirt did. I was barely logging on and the first thing I saw, oh boy, that's not gonna make it. So I'm just, I just saw this, this insert, this insert eye roll, mm -mm. I don't think that's going to make it very long. 
you're gonna have to be really delicate with that one because it's not stitched in it's not thin it's like they it's it's I don't know if you can see that in the camera but it's you know on top of the sweatshirt it's a thicker thing on top of the sweatshirt so probably if you get this make sure you turn it inside out to wash it of course I never put any of my clothes in the dryer so I'm not worried about that but when I logged in this just popped up and I was like hmm, look at that sweatshirt it's kind of cute and I just kept going back to it and I was like I think I need to get that I think I need to get that and then I was like I don't because I'd already told myself after I think after Fleetwood Mac that I was done getting sweatshirts because I've gotten so many sweatshirts um but then I was like, no, man, I got a hat ass sweatshirt. So I added it to my basket just to give it some thought and ponder and ponder and ponder. And you, you see how well I pondered because I went ahead and got it. But of course, I use Torrid Cash. So that's that. But, you know, it's got the little tie dye yellow, green and pink, which, you know, anything with pink is going to be good. The only part I'm worried about is this top part, which is white. Ooh, but that's okay. So it is a size three and it is very comfortable. And I like the, that old style sweatshirt with the pockets on the front. I like that. This jacket, I think it's okay, especially for when it starts warming up and you just want to throw a jacket on with some jeans and be okay, you know, not too heavy this is going to be okay it's not too heavy of a jacket it's not something you want to wear in the winter time because i tell you what these sleeves are pretty thin this is kind of thin material there's nothing that's going to keep you warm about this jacket even though because it's got a lining in it it gives it a, some some weight to it but just because it's got some weight to it doesn't mean it's going to be for cold weather this is clearly going to be for cooler or warmer weather now where i'm confused is this lining goes all the way through but it feels like it's got a pocket on the inside here, but this pocket is completely sewn. So I'm nervous. Do I open it up and then realize, oh, that ain't a pocket? Or do I keep it closed? If I keep it closed, that is just horrible. Who has a jacket with no pocket? Mm -mm. It just uh, doesn't even make sense. So I'm thinking about getting a, a seam ripper. And just ripping that booger apart because there needs to be a pocket on here so it's got the one button which you saw in the video and then it's got a belt and it's that pinky color and it's funny because somebody else ordered this or saw it in store and they were like I like that but it didn't look really pink no it's pink it's pink it's like you know pink comes in all kinds of shades so this is more of like a salmon pink if you know that's like salmon pink it's okay. I think I liked it more online than I like it in person, but maybe it's just one of those pieces that has to warm up to me. And then later on this year, I'm going to be like, oh, my favorite jacket, get my favorite jacket. That's probably going to be this one because that's how I am sometimes. Okay. So <laughs> the last two pieces of this haul were bought together because I liked the way the model was wearing these together. So she had on this denim uh, shirt with this cardigan. Now, I really, really liked this cardigan when I saw it. I really did. It was quite pricey. That's all I'm gonna say. It was quite pricey, but I used Torrid Cash, and I think even now it's on sale but the original price was absurd, rude, and unbelievable that they would actually put that price up there for an original price. Torrid, if you ever see this video, which I promise you probably never will, you should be ashamed of yourself for that original price, but that's okay. So I did get this denim shirt. I haven't worn denim shirts like this since before I left the States, and I've been in Germany 18 years. Um, I don't really tend to go for denim shirts anymore just because most denim shirts, they don't stretch. They don't have any, you know, I don't like button down shirts that much. And this is a full on button down shirt. But the model was wearing this so cute. And so I was like, I have to have that ensemble. So I got this in a size three. It is 100% cotton. It has zero stretch to it, which is not my best friend. 
but I put the sweater on over it and I forgot, um, you know, all about my dislike for non striped blouses. Well, like this. So, yeah, that's that. And so many people love these shirts. I remember when I was younger and didn't have so much to love. Um, I used to live in denim shirts and black leggings and white kids. That was my outfit of choice because it was the most comfortable thing to put on. <laughs> but now, it's just not. So, maybe if I continue walking every day, this will get more and more comfortable. But it wasn't that bad. It wasn't too terribly bad. I just don't like, I'm not a big fan of button down shirts. But the way it looked with this cardigan on top, and I'm just going to say, there were a few girls in the group, they were really trying to throw me off on this cardigan because they were like, yeah, I went in store and it's not even soft. It's kind of heavy and hard. You know, okay, it's not that super soft, which I'm not a big fan of super soft um, after you wash it. After you wash it, I don't like the super soft anymore. So this is going to be able to take a wash and still feel like probably when you first purchased it. So it's not cheaply made. It's pretty good, heavy quality. And I like the colors and I like the length. So if you girls are watching this video, you did not do the description justice. This is a very nice cardigan and I like it. Now, do I like it for that original price? Still, no, but I like the cardigan. So, that was really, really fast. My, oh, we are having some, looks like some uh, electrical issues. So, I'm going to have to, whoa, it looks like the power has gone off and I'm going to have to go see about this and I will, yes. Um, well, <laughs> I can't even do moi. <laughs> so, um, look, <laughs> I see dead people. Just kidding. So, I, you know, I'm going to end this haul with a flashlight. Like I'm going to promise, I'm going to practice like I'm on, on, on stage. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I want to thank my mom and God and foremost, my fans. I'm kidding. So I got to end this haul with a flashlight because our power went out all over the town. <laughs> so I don't know when it's going to come back on. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. Thank goodness we got through talking through all the clothes. And I do still have... Um, uh, the Lane Bryant that I kind of told y'all about last week. I do still have that one to put out um, or finish up or something with, but we have time. I'll do it soon. <laughs> this flashlight. I need to put some sunglasses. Oh, yeah, there we go. I need to put some sunglasses on or something um, so that, you know, because it's shining bright like a diamond in my face. Anyhow, so... That was this haul. Unfortunately, it's going to end like this. I'm so sorry. Um, we are still walking, so I will do my update tomorrow, I think. Did I update last week? Because I'm thinking that updating every single week on the walking is that. I don't know. If I updated last week, I probably won't update tomorrow just because I think it's better to update when there's some progress as far as like progress or whatnot I mean the progress so far is that I'm still walking every single day oh 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 yeah okay no hold on yeah we're all over the place so probably because of the next update on the walking will be the very will actually be the beginning of February so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys now that I most likely am going to continue with every day for the month of February we're gonna just talk about the month of February one, because there's only 28 days, so we only have to do 30 and 28. And um, maybe then I will add something to the walking. So between now and then, the next update, I will let you know what I'm deciding to add. But let's just go ahead and say that we're going to do 30 and 28 for the month of February. Until then. So, hold on. So long, farewell. I'll be the same Good night. <laughs>
where did y'all find me? I mean, where did y'all find me? And I... <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you want to tell me why? I thought, well, the power's out, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my walking right now on my electrical treadmill. I haven't seen them. Sorry, it's dark. It's dark. Oh, let's go show you all the snow. He's back down there again. He said he was done. <laughs>